Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So today I wanted to discuss with you guys the rise and fall of Boomerang. You know, in 2000, Cartoon Network decided to launch a new channel called Boomerang where it was all coming back to you. Essentially, it was the home for Hanna-Barbera classics. It was the home for shows like Tom and Jerry, The Flintstones, The Jetsons, The Looney Tunes, just to name a few. They had some cool blocks like Boomer Royalty where during the summer they'd have basically a character take the spotlight of the channel for the month. They'd have stuff for blocks for the Flintstones. They had the Boomerang Zoo where certain animal characters would take the spotlight. And it was even branded as Boomerang coming from Cartoon Network. It was branded as a part of Cartoon Network where they aired old classic series. That all lasted from 2000 until 2015, when in 2015 we got the rebrand of Boomerang. And initially, just based on aesthetics, I was like, oh, okay, this rebrand makes sense. You know, let's get the black and white color scheme that Cartoon Network has. But then what the rebrand did, and what the rebrand ended up representing, was something that none of us ever wanted to see. Boomerang went from being the place where these old cartoons would be aired, where it's all coming back to you, to essentially just being a Cartoon Network 2.0. I remember for a while, from 2015 onwards, essentially you go on Boomerang, what was on? Teen Titans Go, the Powerpuff Girls reboot, the Ben 10 reboot, all these shows that you could currently find on Cartoon Network were being aired on Boomerang. At the time, I remember I made videos on it in 2017, saying how Boomerang essentially has become a Cartoon Network 2. It's not its own thing anymore, it's just another place for them to air Cartoon Network shows, which never really made sense to me. Then all of a sudden, Boomerang started getting its own original programming. They started getting shows like Wabbit, Be Cool Scooby-Doo, Banicula. Around this time, it was not only becoming a Cartoon Network 2.0, but they were actually taking content and making it for Boomerang as Boomerang Originals. Which again, never really made sense to me, because Boomerang was always meant to be the place to watch old classic cartoons. I was always under the assumption that as time goes on, old Cartoon Network shows would come to Boomerang. I was under the assumption that once we got into the 2010s, we'd see shows like Courage the Cowardly Dog, Codename Kids Next Door, Ben 10, be on Boomerang all day long. And yet what it transformed into was a Cartoon Network 2.0 with its own original Boomerang shows, which, a little side note, that never made sense to me as well, because why would you take shows and put them on Boomerang when your main channel is Cartoon Network? In my opinion, that just took potential content away from Cartoon Network and put it to a secondary channel that, on many cable networks, is not even in HD. Many cable providers don't even have an HD Boomerang, which, again, doesn't even make sense because... These shows are being made in HD, yet they're being aired in SD. I know some cable providers do have HD Boomerang, but for me, mine doesn't, and I know plenty of others don't as well. Later on, Boomerang started to see some old classics airing late at night into the early hours of the morning, and then we fast forward to around 2020, and Boomerang went from being a Cartoon Network 2.0 to kind of going back to what it used to be, but not really. Essentially, the boomerang that we have today is the Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, and the Scooby-Doo Network. The only classic shows they have are the three I mentioned, the original Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, and the Looney Tunes. They also have some newer Scooby-Doos, like a pup named Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated is on every so often, and I know at a given point they were also airing the Looney Tunes show during the afternoons, but to my knowledge, that is no longer on the channel. So essentially, we've kind of come full circle, but not really. Boomerang went from being the place where all these old classic Han Hanna-Barbera shows were on, where it was all coming back to you, to then being a Cartoon Network 2.0, where it fell to the pits. It really, at that point, plummeted. I don't think anyone at that point really cared for Boomerang anymore. I don't even know if people watched it at that point. I'm sure the ratings took a big hit as well. And now they kind of come around to airing some old shows on it again, but it's a shell of its former self. Instead of having all these classic Hanna-Barbera shows, all we have is Tom and Jerry, some Scooby-Doo shows, and the Looney Tunes. Will Boomerang ever return to its former self? We'll have to wait and see on that. I honestly don't know what the plans are for Boomerang. I've made some videos on that if you want to hear my full thoughts on that. But really, right now, we don't know what's next for Boomerang. But I wish that it would go back to what it used to be, where it's all coming back to you. 
Anyways, let me know what you think about the current state of Boomerang in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.